Well, hello YouTube. This will be a video about this thing which is AM commercial receiver that I have modified to receive out of band, out of 1.6 MHz village radio enthusiasts. Last time when I was using it, it was in 2000 and after that I have just left it into boxes and a couple of days ago I was like, okay, let's listen some radio pirates around here and I have hooked hooked up this battery and the radio started working like it was brand new. Now the thing is if you want to modify any kind of commercial AM receiver to work on out of band frequencies you need to pretty much say goodbye to your radio in a sense that you will mess up filters, capacitors and all kind of settings. So if you have some AM radio spare, you can play around. If you don't have like a throwaway AM radio, don't play around. So here's the thing about this one, on off and volume switch. Okay, there is a, there is a sound and because this is on AM, when you press here antenna, internal antenna, there will be noise. So this radio work perfectly uh, without external an antenna when we talk about AM. For FM, and that is uh, utmost left position, you need antenna and I hook it up uh, right here into this uh, connector. I don't know if you can see it or, na or not. But the moral of the story is, in this specific radio receiver, I have experimented a little bit, messed up range, but that's cool. So these two here, I don't know what is the term here, uh, filters or something like that. So these are for FM. These here are for AM, that is upper right position. And now this switch is in middle position. This middle position, if you want to receive something more than 1.6 AM, you need to use to change this filter right here. Uh, probably you can see that. So this one. Uh, sometimes you get good results, sometimes not. But uh, the best option before trying to change parameters is to listen on some SDR radio. Is there any village radio around you? In Europe there is a lot of them. In uh, America probably not so much. But also you can experiment if you have low power AM transmitter like couple of milliwatts. It is good to listen your own songs. It's kind of fun. Anyway. So how you're going to do that when you want to go more than 1.6 in this case, detect on SDR, pirate transmission, and then go through all of them and try to get the frequency. Uh, the best results, the fastest results are when you uh, change one of those. Yes, you can match them with variable capacitor, but these kind of filters they are very cool for instantly hitting uh, that pirate frequency if you can receive them at all. So this is how I do that. I put volume on maximum. Uh, right now we will not uh, hear anything because there is a lot of interference from monitors and computers and stuff. So um, it's not night at the moment too much. So there is no strong signals in any case. So generally this is what I do. See this stuff right here? Okay, let me, let me try to... Uh, and also use plastic screwdriver, okay? I just use metal one, but better option will be to use plasticky one. And I do this and roll through the filter. I think the term is filter and then try to match a local AM uh, pirate. Probably we will not hear anything here now. There are interference, but no signal. And that's cool. Oh, there is a pirate. Awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Let me try. Uh, this is directional receiver pretty much, so you don't need external antenna. Let me try to find it. Oh, there is, there is. Let me bring this thing closer. I will put it, I don't know. Right here, let's say. I think I lost it, but that's cool. So moral of the story is, oops, just find this thing and rotate until you receive uh, some pirates. Maybe I just need antenna, but where to hook it is the question. Well, not here, definitely. This is the thing with these AM transmitters, I mean receivers. And pirates, you know, uh, sometimes they work with uh, 100 watts, sometimes with kilowatts, and they work uh, mostly in evening, 
and they are not regular. So if you don't find them for like a couple of days, eventually you will run into them. Let me try to do this one more time. The problem is there is a lot of in interference in my room, but I think that you get the point. I mean, this receiver is uh, probably three plus decades old. You know, old technology, just two chips. No, nothing. Well, that's cool. They will play around a little bit in the evening. They do that, uh, I don't know, up till uh, one o'clock uh, during the night or during the morning. It depends how you think. So, yeah, this is how I modify this receiver. I didn't solder anything. I didn't desolder anything. Just pure commercial stuff. And when we talk about uh, what kind of chips we have here, because this is pure, pure analog stuff, uh, there is a... Let me try to zoom a little bit in here. Uh, SGS TDA 1220B. Okay, let me see. It's a little bit hard to record this. SGS TDA 1220B. And another one is TBA 820. TBA 820. Hopefully that will mean something to you. And uh, now I need to leave this thing a little bit at the shelf and wait uh, until uh, night, like a dark night, to try to catch some local, local pirates. I mean, people call them pirates, but uh, I think about them just as a people who like music, you know. They're not damaging anyone with their love to music. Of course, it is, let's say, illegal. But outside of 1.6 up till 1.7, let's say, it's like free band. In Europe, there are a lot of people on 1.6. And in Russia and Ukraine and the ex-Soviet Republic, you have pirates, pirates uh, around uh, 2.9 up till 3.1. Mostly they're between 3 and 3.1. And Russians and Ukrainians, they do have that uh, specific AM modulation. I think that they are working with some modified AM military transmitters. A lot of them create their own stuff with tubes, but most of them, most of them just uh, locally use all the AM military stuff. So yeah, this is old brick. I really love it. I don't like, you know, modern SDR, SMD uh, stuff for receivers and transmitters because they're just, in my experience, too weak. And when you have something like this, you can solder or desolder a, a lot of stuff. You can check what is bad if it's... Uh, and rarely something is bad. When they break, you can fix them. And... Uh, Try to do that with SMD components on modern receivers and transmitters. It's absolute hell. I don't want to even touch them uh, when we talk about soldering, SMD stuff. No, it's just not for me. I I'm old school, you know. So I like these things. And the question is now, in what kind of box I can put this stuff? You know, because I need some kind of box. Over time, I will probably damage these wires from antenna because I'm like that, you know. Well, let me see one more time and that will be end of video. Is there anyone there? Okay. Maybe because of interference, there is no one there. Well, not at the moment. So let's see other band, AM band. Maybe we will run into someone, some commercial station. I think these are Hungarians. Yeah, I mean, too much interference. And FM radio, this is FM upper, uh, like far left position. Yeah. There is always uh, someone on FM, but I don't like FM because there's just local music and local propaganda. And when we talk about local music, uh, modern local music is absolute garbage. I listen stuff from uh, before, let's say, 
1990s, something like that. Old people kind of music, uh, folk music. There is a difference between folk music, but uh, old town music, uh, stuff like that. I don't know what's the terminology in uh, English for that, but you know, old school stuff. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, and yeah, share this channel with other people. Like, share and uh, see you next one. Subscribe, of course. Ciao, ciao.